Muhammad was go good in copy-paste, mm -hmm. you know, he took a lot of verses from the Bible and he put them in the, the Quran. But if you go deep into the Quran, you find totally it's the opposite of the Bible. You will, you will not find God is deceiver in the Bible. Because Muhammad was go, uh, good in copy-paste, mm -hmm. you know, he took a lot of verses from the Bible and he put them in the, the Quran. You will, you will not find God is deceiver in the Bible. Mm -hmm. You will find God is the great deceiver in the Quran. You will find God is the great deceiver in the Quran. God is love in, 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 in the Bible. God is not love in the Quran. He loves only Muslims. He hates non-believers, non-Muslims. That is not love in the Quran. He loves only Muslims. He hates non-believers, non-Muslims. You will find God um, teaches us to forgive people. You will find God um, teaches us to forgive people. In Quran, He teaches us to kill the enemies of Allah. In Quran, he teaches us to kill the enemies of Allah. And it's totally two different directions. It's not even close. Well, that's another confusing fact. The, um, we hear that the Islamic religious leaders saying, we accept other religions. We are tolerant of other religions. And then you hear things like this. What is the truth? That's true. They, they keep saying that. But they need to give us proof. Mm -hmm. What the sayings of Muhammad, what the Quran says about it. They need to give us proof mm -hmm. what the sayings of Muhammad, what the Quran says about.
The Quran says clearly about Jews that they are sons of pigs, sons of monkeys. people have been turned into apes other than these Jews and these you know, verses here mentioned in the Quran itself can you show me any contemporary examples of Allah turning non-believers into pigs or into into apes because they weather took a turn for the worse it got colder and drier it was the start of the ice age and the changing climate had a profound effect on our ancestors Well, it seems that as uh, conditions became more and more difficult for survival, two different strategies were attempted. The one was used by the robust ape men, and they had a very characteristic skull, usually with a flat face, a wide flat face. And this strategy seems to have been one of toughening yourself up in that way trying to overcome the really difficult conditions. Altogether, a, a tough-looking, robust individual. That was the one alternative. The other, which occurred in our own human and pre-human lineage, was simply an enlargement in the size of the brain. And this um, is reflected from the beginning of the human lineage. And in, in the case of, the, of, of these creatures, they seem to live by their wits rather than by their strength. And of the two options, this proved to be the one that came through. The robust ape men became extinct, whilst the descendants of the larger brain species moved out of Africa and began to extend their range across the world. Don't get it. Well, you know how mankind evolved from apes? Yeah, I know that. He evolved from cats. His ancestors were cats. He's descended from cats. He is a cat. Here you go, cat. Ah, me. Holly says you like these. Mm. Hey, you monkeys eat off the floor. <laughs> Don't you got no style or sophistication? Oh, I'm sorry, cat. I'm sorry. 
you people are unbelievable. Christians are astray and they are like misled and the Muslim when he prays like 17 times a day he says that the Christians and Jews are wrath and astray. He keeps repeating that 17 times a day. And you should not, you are not allowed to greet Christians and Jews according to Muhammad. And they are, the last sayings of Muhammad when he was dying, he said, curse be upon Jews and Christians. That's his last words. عمال بي Well, I'll tell you, we've only just begun to unravel this, but you are doing this all the time on a program called Taking Off the Mask. سَبِيلَ اللَّهِ إِنْ يَتَّبِعُونَ إِلَّا الظَّنَّ وَإِنْ هُمْ إِلَّا 